Good day everyone, this is Damrest Photography and today I'm going to be teaching creative photography. Yeah, it's going to be a creative photography edit. As you can see, I use just one, one, just one light. Yeah, but before we continue, if you've not subscribed, if you've not liked this tutorial, please just click on the subscribe button below. Just click on the subscribe button below and like, share this tutorial. Yeah, help me out. Okay, so as you can see, I'm using just one soft box. I'm using my big soft box. That is my 120 uh, cm soft box, uh, octa box. I mean, uh, that's good as octa box. And then I'm using my TT. 520 good of um, speed light you get so this is a cheap gear this is something you could get for seriously not too expensive not really expensive so this is a silly sort of setting um shoot i wanted to just see what i could do when i shot the image i was thinking oh wow would this look but see this is what i got for the first edit as you can see i took this image from here to here from here to here so i still i said i must do a tutorial to show what you could actually do and how you could actually do something like this and what could come out the thing i think what i think i should have done differently for this shoot was instead of a softbox here instead of softbox here i would have bought gotten a plain material to add that is a plain white material that could allow light to pass through it you get and i would make that a background which will cover the whole of the whole the whole of the background you get and then you put light behind it so the light will be coming from the back and then you don't see any distractions of black later you still need to go fine tune the background but it will be easier so what i did right now was i created i selected the image from the background and then i selected the background from the image you get so now we are having the background the image the subject layer and then we're also having the image layer so in between them i'm just going to go and take a solid color take a solid color click on it yes it's white i want but i want it to match so i'm going to off that double click on it and then click on this side this brighter side like i said i want everything to match and since it's a, a sort of silly stuff so i'm instead of picking the mid-tone i'm picking the brightest light and the brightest light is coming from around here so i'm just going to pick that and click on ok and then i'm going on that as you can see this is our image but this is not all we want to do so first i'm just going to create a clipping marks and then match this clip marks i'm going to match that white to that okay then i'll go to the top i'm going to just pick a gradient uh what they call a uh, gradient map and then i'll pick a black and white gradient map i think i have a black and white gradient map here you just search for that pick a black and white gradient map and then that's good for the gradient map next thing what we're going to do is we're going to be using levels we're going to be using levels to adjust i think that was what i did yes that was what i did i used the levels to adjust it around here so that's what i'm going to do here too i'm just going to go to adjustment layer and pick my levels and then i'm just going to manipulate it the way i want to get just the way i want it so just going to play with it the way i want it yeah around there as you can see we're still not getting all we want but just one plate it the way you want it to get so let's see we just try and play around with it like i said i want it a silhouette uh, but i still want you to know see the lights in between this around the air you get those lights coming from the back there i don't want it to be just too dark you get if i, I could make it really dark but i don't want it to be too dark you get i don't want it to be too dark so i want the light to just reflect a bit let me see take this one to the back around here okay as you can see before after so before after before after that's good i'm going to put all this into one folder last but not the least i'm going to be using the cost adjustment inside my color grading if you've been watching my tutorial you see anytime i do color grading there's a curve inside the camera roll i usually manipulate i used it here and then it gave me some really really good effects so i'm going to create a stamp layer to create a stamp layer you click on ctrl or shift e ctrl or shift e ctrl or shift e and then you get a stamp layer and i'm just going to go to camera roll 
go to filter, go to camera raw filter. Uh, yeah, so I want that to open. Then I'm going to go to course. You see, I went to course. Like, like I said, I use this for color grading. So I'm just going to, it's more like a color grading for this one too. But I'm just giving it a feel. You see, if I take this one up, you see the kind of feel, the kind of effect. It's giving the kind of effect I love. I don't know what they call this, but this is what I like. I know what I do. <laughs> so I like what, what it gave, the kind of effect it gave. I can just play with it here and see what it will give. Just play with it and see. yeah okay that's beautiful so as you can see before after before after you see the that kind of color grading effect it gave it it applied it to the whole of the image and then it's just looking good i don't know before after before after i don't know if you're seeing what i'm saying i just like what it gave it to that's the kind of effect it gave to it and then that's okay you see that's it you see our silhouette image we took the image from here to here here to beautiful right yes beautiful so next thing for this what I'm going to do now is just brightness no I'm going to sharpen my image first and to do that I'm going to create another smart object Control shift E and I'm going to filter I just increase it by high pass I found that sharpening this image really didn't do much to it probably because it's a black and white image and then you don't have it, it doesn't have a lot of detail to the image so it really didn't do anything to the image so last but not the least i'm just going to click on brightness and contrast normally i'll just click on auto and see what it will give me i don't think it will give me what i love but then again i just want to see what auto will give and then if it's not what i want i'll just it should give me a sort of template okay minus four one it really didn't adjust anything much but i'll just take it down and see take it up and see take it down take it up take it down okay i think i just uh, okay take this one down take this one up take this one down take this one up okay no wonder that um, what they call it didn't, didn't do anything okay so i think this is okay before after before after and we have our clean beautiful uh a silhouette image before after before after so if you want to export your image uh, you just go to filter you go to export export as then you make sure your quality is on seven depending on if that's the if, if, if you put your quality on seven and then you see that the size of the image has a megabytes kilobyte size is too much for you you could reduce that around here and make sure your resampling is on by cubic sharper make sure your color space is on convert to R srgb and embed color profile so we are good to go and then you just click on export and export it where you want your image to be okay before we finish this tutorial during the, uh, what they call it, um, during the week son chatted me up on whatsapp and asked me that how do i install how do i use my graphics tablet so first of all i'm just going to do a video as you can see i'm just going to do a short video as you can see this place is not too bright but this is my graphics tablet as you can see this is my graphics tablet and it's connected to my laptop you get it's connected to my laptop through the usb once it's connected to the laptop the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to you're going to go to um just go to when you connect it to the laptop you should be able to uh you need to go to the uh what they call it. depending on the depending on the uh depending on the graphics tablet you are using for me i'm using a gammon so immediately i download i bought my gammon i connected it i downloaded the gammon software which is this let's see this is the gammon software i downloaded the gammon software from the gammon website so immediately i downloaded the gammon software i just installed it and then i really didn't need to do anything the only thing i did was configure this one and you can just check online and see how to configure it it's easy it's really really easy even you just looking through it clicking on it you could configure just click on it and then you would configure what you want it so i use them for my shortcuts you get so it's an easy thing to do you just download the software then plug your device it will, it will detect it and then you'll be able to just use it for as a mouse on your system you get what i'm trying to say 
but any other thing just go online and check it out but for gammon it's easy to use that's what i use so we just export our image export as you get just click on export and to take it to you take it to take it to your folders and you you decide where you want it to be saved so if you like this tutorial if you enjoyed this tutorial please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like don't forget to share also you can check below you see my the gears i use if you want to buy those same gears you can just go through the link i will get a small commission you're helping me out that way again so we'll see in the next tutorial have a wonderful day guys